Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And in this video here, we're going to cover some things that have happened over the years. Here we go. So we all wish that we'd just turn back time. Wouldn't that just be great? Man, oh man, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that wish you could turn back time and go back to a time when, you know, you didn't have anything to worry about, not a care in the world. You were spending time with family and loved ones that aren't around anymore. But guess what? We just can't. It all started billions of years ago. You know, I mean, with the whole Big Bang thing, uh, the beginning of time, uh, the book of Genesis, whatever it is that you believe in. You know, the stars were created. The Milky Way was formed. The Milky Way is a beautiful thing. And if nobody's ever actually got out there, you need to drag your ass out and get into the wilderness where you can actually see the stars, get away from the cities. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing to look up at the sky when there's no lights to cover up anything. So you get a true view of what is out there. And then there was the fire and the smoke with the asteroids, the beginning of the development of all the planets and everything else. And then what comes next? Well, let's see if anybody can guess. There she be. That big old blue ball that's in the sky. And it's called the planet Earth. And we all live on it. All how many billions of people. And they're still trying to figure out a lot of things about it. Then we had the Industrial Revolution. Wow, wasn't that a great thing? So we thought. So we could travel and do anything else. You know, they invented gas, oil, cars. Trains, planes, automobiles, just like the movie. Wow, okay, here we go. Away, away we go. You get all these people, you know, you go to New York City, Times Square, you walk around, millions of people, you know, enjoy all the lights, the, just everything, just take it all in. It's just amazing. If you've never been there, maybe someday you might be able to go. And then we all just basically nowadays, it's the hustle and bustle. Your alarm clock goes off in the morning, you get up, you got to run to work. Everybody's got to get to work. So you take a train, you take a ferry, you take a bus just to make that old heavenly dollar. Is it really worth it, people? Think about it. Sometimes you really wonder if what you're doing is really worth it. The hustle and bustle of every day killing yourself to make that dollar bill. But that's what we do, right? So we think. Things happen. Then we get to have, sit back and relax. Have a good time. Grab some beers, float onto some floaties out with all your friends. Grab on, you know, jump on a boat. Go for a boat ride in the summertime. Go swimming, fishing, hiking. Whatever it is you want to do. Then you can jump on a plane nowadays. Hell, you can go anywhere you want. You can go from here to Europe. You can go to New York. You can go to Hawaii. Anywhere. Some beautiful little port someplace. It's all part of life. You can take in any museums and stuff. Walk around with the crowds. Not a care in the world. Take in all the sights. Sometimes it's fun just to sit and watch all the people walk by. It's a beautiful thing. Welcome to the world we live in. Ah, you can go shopping. You know, a lot of people like to hit the flea markets, find a good deal, hit your farmer's markets. Some people like to do the mall thing. Particularly, I don't, but a lot of people do. You're just walking around looking for a good deal. What's on sale? You just never know. And then you have that traditional, you know, at least when I was growing up, Sunday dinner. Everybody would sit down at the table. You'd have friends and family over. You all sit down, talk about what's going on, have a great meal, sit there and eat. No problems, no cares in the world. Everybody just having a good time. Kids are going to school, you know, kids 
they love going to school and they love putting on their new backpacks, especially beginning of the year. They got their new clothes, new shoes, you know, the new haircut. They just want to have fun. They're excited and everything else. And kids just want to be kids, you know, it's just part of life. They love going to school. They love learning. They sit at desk with all their other friends. They do their projects. They draw, they play, whatever they need to do. You know, kids will be kids. Sometimes don't you wish you were just back there? Sometimes I do. Then you get to go to old playground. We all have those playground memories, you know, swinging on the swings, playing on the slide, just having a good old time, throwing a football, baseball, playing basketball. And then all of a sudden, the beginning of this year, the news flash. What in the world is going on now? Is this for, for true? Is this really happening? Now they're telling us we're going to be quarantined? What the hell? Because of that? Well, yep. It was true, people. All the streets were empty now. Nobody was out. Everybody was told to stay home. They closed everything down. Everything was like a ghost town. You would have just thought that everybody vanished. It's kind of eerie sight. No cars, no people, no nothing. But everybody was just like, what is going on? You did have the few that were probably still out and, you know, kind of wandering the streets. Maybe they were considered an essential employee and they had to go to work. But then there was the run on the toilet paper. Still don't get what was with the toilet paper. But hey, it went off the shelves before anything else. Oh, and then the hand sanitizer. Yep, we had to use hand sanitizer. But nobody had any. Lord have mercy. Soup aisle. I think it's uh, yeah. Armageddon or something. Oh, then we were told, ah, oh, you got to wash your hands. Aren't we supposed to do that anyways? Don't touch your face. You know, just hopefully you don't get a scratch. Oh, avoid contact with sick people. Really? Why would you want to go around sick people? And stay home if you are sick. Well, there's another one. Just doesn't make any sense. So now all the classrooms are empty. There are no kids in school because the schools are all closed. They're all home being taught by their kids, by their parents. Swing sets are empty. Nobody's out and about. Everybody's scared. Nobody knows what we're dealing with. Nobody had a clue. The table set, you didn't have all this food, but there's nobody to come over and enjoy it with you anymore because the bug is here. And then we're all wearing masks, but the mask is probably what's helping to stop the spread. But the government doesn't want you to know that. They're not going to tell you that. They, we left that one up to the States. Bad choice. So now you got all the scientists. They're working on those equations there, trying to figure out exactly how to stop this thing. What kind of a vaccination can we come up with now? We need a cocktail and we need it yesterday. But they're still working on it. You got all the nurses and doctors that are doing the best they can to try to provide the best care they can to keep people alive, to try to come up with that magical, magical cure, that little cocktail to try to put an end to this nightmare that we're all living. But why do we have this nightmare? And when will it end? When that cocktail comes out, but I won't be first in line for it. Let somebody else be the guinea pig. So now we sit back and we put our mask on. We all should be wearing masks. If you're going to go out in public, it's the only way you're going to control this thing. It's common sense, but there's a lot of people that choose not to. I guess that's your right, but don't cry to me when you get it or somebody in your family dies because you didn't wear your mask and you transported it to them. 
But you can put your mask on and you can go to the store. You can go do things, especially if you live in a highly populated area. And the government, well, they're about useless as tits on a bore. So, you know, they don't want to get involved and they don't want to put any rules and regulations involved. Because for them, the only thing it's about is money. As you notice, they have been printing money and sending money out to the American people. And then they give money to all these big corporations. The government has to have money coming in. So they want everybody back to work and everything open. Because without money, the government is nothing. But with that money comes the loss of life. And with the loss of life comes a lot of heartache for a lot of people. There's a lot of people that have already died in this country. And there's even more that have died around the world. So is it really worth it? I don't know. You have to ask yourself that. When is money more than a life? It's sad to say. But I think there's going to be a lot more people that are going to pass away before this thing is all over. And maybe one day we'll actually be able to sit down with the family again, have a meal, enjoy ourselves, travel for the holidays, and feel secure. And hopefully those family members are still sitting at that table. Or maybe some of you have just said, you know, I've had enough and you're heading to the woods. You just want to get away from the people. You want to get away from the bug. You want to get away from everything. You want to feel kind of secure just to be out in nature. Could be a beautiful thing. May not be a bad idea either, depending on where you live. But in the end, that's what it's all about. Maybe just sitting around a campfire with your family, having a cold beer, or soda, or a cup of coffee, because time just keeps going. We all wish we could turn it back, get back to that normal time where everything was just fine. Thanks for watching. This is Survival Preparedness. Catch you all on the flip side.